Hi everyone, welcome back to Michelle Reads and Blogs and today we have got the late March The Locked Library book. This is usually one of the first ones that comes every month and we did know that this month it was running a little bit late. So let's get into it. We have the theme for this one of Her Heavenly Heretic. I knew I was going to struggle to say that. Just say it slowly. Her Heavenly Heretic. And this one is a YA fantasy standalone so we know the lock library can be either YA or adult it's usually fantasy I think we have had at least one sci-fi in the past I'm struggling to get into this box but this is a YA standalone fantasy okay so as usual with the lock library they come so beautifully wrapped this must take somebody such a long time to do but it is so pretty but what I would say is how they store them must not be very good because this has happened a few times where we've uh, had a little bit of a rip in them and in the past when I've had a rip like this that was damaged as well but when it was damaged they replaced it no questions asked really quickly I mean I say there were questions asked I had to send photos and stuff but you know what I mean so they, they replaced it because it was damaged so we are going to open it up. So we've got the nice locked library sticker on there. And we have got What Monstrous Gods by Rosamond Hodge. And this, I'm pretty sure, is a redesigned cover. It's got a very similar vibe to the original cover. I will put the original cover up so that we can compare. So very kind of similar vibe with the flowers around the edge. But of course, these are all beautifully gold foiled. Sorry if you can hear my dog in the background. So we've got the title of the books is also in that gold foiling. And the name of the author is in the white print below. Got this beautiful gold rose in the background this stunning purple color i love this dark purple and the gold i think that is just stunning her destiny was to kill him he'll haunt her even in death and then oh that's the dog wanting to go out he just jumps up the back door <laughs> until i go and let him out we'll see how it goes and then on the side we've got what monstrous gods again in the gold foiling the author's name and then we have got the magpie which is an imprint of harper collins for their ya books and that is in a similar gold color as well the back is very similar in kind of design to the front but without the gold foiling and we can see seven girls they had sent and none ever returned the eighth girl is me so beautiful let's have a look at this sprayed edge i actually hadn't looked at that yet so we have got this gold rose in the center and again purple these kind of dots i don't know if they're meant to represent i don't know magic or something but we've got them in the background so we've got them around there as well so this is slightly off center but we know that unless it kind of goes under like off the, the stenciled edge they probably won't do anything about that it's just a little bit annoying when you're a perfectionist <laughs> as i am <laughs> looking at the top we've got a block purple sprayed edge top and bottom i always love that we do ribbon bookmarks and they are gold as well as the binding there to go with the theme so the color there is just spot on these end pages are really nice. I think most people will say they're nothing special compared to a lot of end papers that we get on a lot of books and a lot of kind of artwork in there. But actually as end pages go, I quite like that. Just having these kind of, I don't know what you call, like a trestle maybe, and the roses coming off them. And then these kind of lighter dots around the side of the purple color, I actually really like that. And we've got the same in the back as well. Let's have a look under the dust jacket because they always have foiled artwork on the hardback. And that is so pretty. So, so pretty. Wow, I love that. The edge will match the rest of the locked library collection, which I am now displaying with their spines out this is like the main selling point to me i just think it looks stunning absolutely stunning and then plain on the back the dog still wants to go out yeah i'm gonna go and let the dog out i'll be right back <laughs> 
Oh, so if you don't know anything about huskies, they are very demanding <laughs> dogs. <laughs> so I've let them out. So what were we looking at? We'd looked at the hardback. I think we were going to look inside the book next, of course. So we do have a bound in author letter, which has a author digital signature on the bottom. Published by Magpie for the Lot Library, March 2024. And I think there's nothing kind of special in terms of extra bonus content in this one, I don't think. No, I can't see anything. But looking at it, it looks like it's going to be quite a quick read. The pages aren't too kind of font heavy. And there's about 350 pages in there. So let's have a little look at the synopsis. This one, I think think is going to be interesting to some people as we said we know it's YA we know it's standalone Ooh. it's based on Sleeping Beauty so if you're a Sleeping Beauty fan you might like this one centuries ago the heretic sorcerer Reuven raised a deadly briar around Runakia's palace casting the royal family into an enchanted sleep and silencing the kingdom's gods Born with a miraculous gift, Leah's destiny was to kill Reuven and wake the royals. But when she succeeds, she finds her duty is not yet complete. For now, she must marry into the royal family and forge a pact with a god or die. To make matters even worse, Reuven's spirit is haunting her. A rich and romantic reimagining of the Sleeping Beauty fairy tale perfect for fans of those violent delights and the shadow queen so i think this one will definitely be up some people's streets it's not one that's really been on my radar to be honest i've not seen much about it anywhere next month's book i absolutely have i've forgotten the theme bear with me so next month's book is silken secrets and i am very excited for that book if it weren't in a book box I would be buying it and reading it anyway so very excited for April a little bit indifferent to March but as the edition goes my kind of general thoughts I think it's a nice one I'm so happy to add this to the collection I think it is very pretty I don't know as we say much about the, the book or the story so I would be really interested if anyone has read this one or if anyone is interested to read this one to let me know just so that we kind of know a little bit more about how this one's being received if that makes sense and before we end for the day i just want to let you know that we don't know anything about the artists for this one which is such a shame for next month's book we have been told who has redesigned the cover but this we can't credit to an artist which yeah i, th I do think is quite sad because it, it is beautiful it is a beautiful edition so so thank you so much for joining me today as usual, if you want to support the channel, I would appreciate it so much. The easiest way to do that is just by leaving a like on the video. The second easiest way to do that is by subscribing if you've not done so already and you want to see more bookish content from me. The third way to support me is leaving a comment. And that is, I said it last time, my favourite part of doing this and putting my time and effort into YouTube at the moment is reading your comments and responding to them so say hello even if it is just to support me let's say if you don't have anything to say but you want to let me know that you're here because if you don't comment I have no idea who's watching my videos so if you want to leave an emoji just leave a rose emoji otherwise say hello <laughs> I, I quite like talking to people and having a conversation so that's the three easiest ways to support me in the channel I will as always leave links to any books mentioned in the video down in the description they are affiliates so if you shop through that link it means that you don't pay any extra but I do make a small commission and obviously that is a huge help to me and the channel have a good rest of your day whatever you're up to wherever you are I'll see you all next time we have got an Alcray unboxing to do we have got a huge stack of bookish posts to unbox and haul we've got a end of March wrap-up April TBR so loads to talk about coming up on the channel but I will see you all next time bye